During this crisis, experts say you need to create a border around your home. So how do you avoid bringing coronavirus into your house? Well, we're joined right now by Dr. Eric Pena. We're keeping a safe distance here, as you can see. Didn't even put a microphone on him. In fact, we were using just the boom mic right here. Dr. Pena, Director of Global Health at the Healthcare Network Northwell, says the border begins when you take out the garbage. You place the garbage in the lid, close the lid, and then you're just gonna go back inside before you touch anything else in the house, wash your hands. If you have to go shopping or for a walk, he has this advice. Yeah. How about your shoes? So shoes I leave at the door, they never come in the house. In fact, when he comes home from the hospital, Dr. Pena takes an extra precaution. Basically, it's a standard Ziploc bag. I just take my old clothes off, um, and I, you know, I wear gloves. I put my, put my dirty scrubs in a bag, seal them tight, right. and then I bring them home. I usually wipe the external surface of the bag, right. um, wash my hands again, change into uh, kind of regular clothes again, and then this goes right, right into the wash when I get home. And are pets an issue? As a method of transmitting droplets, pets could absolutely uh, be a risk. You know, you sneeze in your hand, you touch your pet, the d dog runs to the next person, they pet the dog, they touch their face. So obviously, you know, you want to be uh, practice good hand hygiene before and after you touch your dog as well. Right. Turning your house into a border also involves washing fruits and vegetables, even bananas. Yeah. We peel this anyway, so right. not many people are thinking about wiping down the external surface of a banana but you could still contaminate your hands with the external surface and then while you're eating the banana, get sick. So we still want you to, even though the, the fruit is a peelable fruit, wipe down the external surface with soap and water. This homeowner from Long Island is yeah. taking mm -hmm. extreme so safety precautions. Here. Lisa Pace and her daughter Gianna go through a rigorous cleaning routine before bringing any packages into their home. I'm helping my mom do like the routine she does. I spray down every package that we get. They heavily spray down the box with Clorox. Then they use this special opener and spray down what's inside. In this case, it's food for their pet rabbit. They're not done yet. They use their feet to stomp down the box and slide out the food. And the slippers have to stay outside. Next, they spray down their hands. Finally, they let the items sit outside for a full 24 hours before allowing them inside their own personal border. We're so concerned, it's devastating. Don't take this lightly. 